Hi, welcome to Dreaminoids Hi-Fi. I'm Joey, co-owner of Dreaminoids. Um, we're practicing social distancing, so Christian is not here with me today, but he too will also be making some videos. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Riga P6. Um, this turntable is really cool. Um, you've got the P1, the P1 Plus uh, that begin out the range, and then you have the P2, the P3, which is like the seminal turntable. And then the P6, um, for the, there was the RP6 that came, that's the predecessor to this one. And it really set a, a precedent for kind of having um, a turntable that's between the P3 and the P8. And, um, or back then the RP8. And so this turntable specifically um, really kind of to me is where you start going into a really high-end space with, uh, with Riga turntables. And um, here at Dreaminoids, we have uh, sold P6s and people have been very happy with them. We match it uh, typically with a moving coil cartridge. Uh, so an Aenea, um, Riga Aenea moving coil cartridge is usually the one we recommend. Um, you can buy it as a combo for $21.95 and uh, people have really enjoyed that setup. Now this specific one that we have here today, I'm gonna go ahead and take this, this lid off, is our actual demo. So we have played this turntable a lot. It has been put through its paces. We have really enjoyed it. We um, actually, the Aenea came out before the P6. So we had the Aenea on a P3 and then we got uh, the P6 and we put it on our P6 and we were really, really blown away with this table. So let me show you what makes this table look and uh, act unique uh, compared to the P3. So uh, the first thing you're gonna notice right off the bat is that it has a dual uh, laminate glass platter. It's gonna have the same kind of felt mat uh, but it's gonna have an aluminum sub platter. So this sub platter here is aluminum. On the P3, it's gonna be a plastic. It also comes inherently with the white belt. You'll see that it has the same um, uh, rigid uh, enforcement piece that goes from the uh, uh, sub platter to the tone arm. Uh, but what's unique about this and what this turntable kind of is a sleeper or like a wolf in sheep's clothing is that this is not made out of wood. This is actually made out of the same material as the P8. It's gonna be a, like a foam core. And so this turntable is actually very, very light. It's, it's not heavy at all. Um, it's gonna use the same RB330 arm that's on the P3, uh, which is a great arm in and of itself and says a lot about the arm when you don't have to upgrade the arm for this turntable. Um, the other thing that's really unique about Riga in general is that they do take like your, your turntable, the, 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 the table itself, plays a big role in how your, your uh, turntable in general with the tone arm and the cartridge are going to perform. And so this, this departure and with the feet, um, it has just a really, really great sound for its price. Now, uh, you'll notice that um, it ha it's gonna have a typical RCA uh, plugs with a, um, uh, copper um, cables that are high-end. Uh, you'll also notice that this platter is gonna have a flywheel effect because it's much heavier than the uh, standard one that comes with the P3. The other thing uh, that's unique about the P6 is it does come with a Neo power supply. And so uh, this uh, power supply is matched at the factory to this P6. And that's really unique and gives you a nice speed consistency that you can use right outside of the box. Now, this specific P6 uses an Aenea Pro cartridge. So um, we had the Aenea for a while, a good while, and we, we played it a lot and we loved it. And uh, a couple of months ago, Riga came out with the Aenea Pro. We did a video on it, you can check it out. We also talked about some uh, phono sections. And um, we plugged this thing into the P6 and uh, it, 
I don't know, to me, it's, it was a game changer. Like this is a turntable that I recommend for people that uh, wanna have a truly high-end turntable, but um, you know, for whatever reason, don't foresee themselves spending over, you know, $4,000 uh, for a P8 or, or $10,000 for a P10 decked out. Um, to me, this turntable gets people into that space um, easily. We have this hooked up to a uh, Crimson preamp and power amp that's going to be like uh, around a $12,000, actually $13,000 uh, combination there. And we have it hooked up to Fine Audio F. 703s which are uh, twelve thousand dollar pair of speakers and this thing just sings it's great um, yes we compared it to an lp12 that we had that's decked out and uh, it does not sound as good as the lp12 decked out but a, a decked out lp12 is about fifteen thousand dollars these days and so um, for a lot less you can get started with uh, a p6 and a neo pro and just hold your own so a, a lot of our customers this is gonna fall into uh, getting like a P6 with an Enea Pro and maybe an Illicit R and RX3s or RX5s or Fine Audio um, F501s or 502s. So um, this combination has just been stellar. It really fits within the schema of Riga. When you move up to the P8 with the new Afeta 3, it is uh, a, a lot better than the P6. But um, a lot of times people ask me, well, you know, what should I do? Uh, you know, should I, I was like, well, if you don't listen to a P8, you're going to love your P6 for a lifetime. If you do listen to a P8, yes, you're going to, it's going to sound better. It is. But, um, that's the reality of, of, of why they make the gear this way is that, you know, for each price point, Riga is really thinking about, well, how do we get you in that, into that turntable at that price point that you want to be at, um, for a lifetime of listening. And so for me, as like a personal note, as, a, as someone that uh, enjoys hi-fi as well as sells it, is that I don't listen to something that uh, is maybe beyond what I can uh, uh, obtain at that time in my life because, um, you know, unless I'm, I'm, I'm strategically looking as, as kind of like a goal marker for, for me to reach at, uh, I like to be content with what I have. And I, and I see that a lot of times with customers coming in, they're like, no, we're good. I want to start with this. I've heard this. This is great. This is in the range that I'm looking for. Um, let's go no further, uh, which is different than going into a shop and listening to a statement system. Of course, that's fun. Uh, but when you're seriously shopping, you know, I highly recommend, you know, shopping within the budget you have. Um, and if you get excited and you want to move up in budget, yeah, then take a listen. But, um, you know, as kind of like some purchaser advice. I always recommend kind of, you know, listening around your budget because you will always start going what if um, afterwards. And, uh, and, and so I, I really, really uh, enjoy this turntable. This is one of my personal favorites in our shop in terms of value for the money. I highly recommend uh, you come in and take a listen. We are doing um, individual appointments right now uh, and we'll do social distancing. We will uh, have masks and gloves. Um, so we are totally uh, open, but in a very small way. So we're not gonna have normal hours. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this advice. Um, I'm trying to be as personable about it in the sense that um, we here at, at Dreamanoids, like our intangible is our advice. It is like our personality and the way we show you all our gear and um, you know, try and provide content that engages you all, not just at a sales level, but as a buyer that's looking to come and buy something, you know, what, what, what are the little things that make a big difference? And so I feel like with this turntable, what I've said, I think you'll have a good experience if you were to come in and hear it and, and be able to just start from that level. So I hope you're having a great day and I look forward to you liking and subscribing our channel.